Namaste everyone, welcome to Amako Kitchen. Today Amma is making nimkin. This is sort of a fried biscuit, very similar to kapse, but instead of sweet, it is slightly salty and it also goes perfectly well with tea. Much like many of Amma's other recipes, this recipe is very quick and easy to follow, with only a handful of ingredients required. For this recipe you will need 40 grams of butter, 1 teaspoon of black cumin seeds, salt as per your preference, 250 grams of plain flour and oil for frying. In a big mixing bowl add 250 grams of plain flour, then 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, Salt as per your preference and 40 grams of butter. As the butter was in the fridge, Amma heated it for a little bit in the microwave to soften it so she could knead the dough with ease. Start to knead the dough and bit by bit add water. Keep mixing and adding water little by little, eventually the flour will start to stick and you should form a solid dough ball. And just like that, our little dough ball is almost ready. Once the dough ball has formed, cover with a kitchen towel and leave it for approximately an hour or so. Now that we have waited for the dough to set, we are ready to turn them into minty. For the next step, you will need to break off a chunk of dough, roughly about enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Give it a good roll. Once you are satisfied that you have a decently smooth and round ball of dough, place it on the rolling board. Sprinkle over an adequate amount of flour and roll it out as thinly and flat as possible. This process may take a few attempts. Keep rolling the dough and rotate sides until it is very thin. Now that we have our thin layer of dough, grab a butter knife or a normal kitchen knife and cut diagonal lines going across the dough.
then cut across the opposite direction to form small diamond-like shapes of dough. Now peel off the dough from the surface. Using a knife may make it easier to peel the dough. Then put the dough in a preheated pan with oil and fry it until it turns into a golden brown colour. Rotate the dough so it is evenly fried on both sides. Now that we're done frying, place the nimkin on a kitchen towel for it to soak up the oil and leave it to cool down. Then you can enjoy with some tea and you can even keep some stored away in a container over a long period of time and stack on them whenever you desire. And that concludes today's video everyone. Thank you for watching and if you haven't already done so, please like, comment, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!